What's the crack, everyone? And thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Wrestle Slam. And I am on hosting duties uh, because the one and only Jerry Carlin is aware he is doing some business with a little media company called Sports Matters TV. Uh, so I'm filling in the role of hosting, which I think I'm doing a pretty decent job, if you ask me. What do you think, Phil? Brilliant. Top quality. No, to be fair, you're 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 very good. You're you're well able. I mean, maybe we might get you on hosting duty soonish. I hate hosting duties, but I do it if I had to. Oh, okay, right, right, right. If the money's right. right. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, we're going on that line soon. But yeah, so we gave it away. My name is Matt, and we are with the one the only Phil Connolly, the myth, the man, the legend. He had a pretty busy weekend, if you ask me, Phil. Um. Yeah, the beer of film festival was on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's always good. It's always good to support uh, local film festivals when whenever we can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we did get to uh, Emmett, who works with me, uh, did come away with a best director award. So that's always yeah, always yeah. exciting. Yeah, yeah. More, more, more awards on the shelf, like so. More awards uh, on the shelf, yeah. Of course, I know that Emmett is not the biggest wrestling fan, but if he is watching, congratulations, Emmett O'Brien. Or I can just tell Phil to pass on the message. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. not really a big wrestling fan, so yeah, I can pass on the message. Uh, we'll get him on board, Phil. We'll get him on board. <laughs> uh, no, and you weren't doing any camera duties. You were actually there. Yeah, we were the just there as uh, enjoying the festival and enjoying the scenery. And it's always nice to see that part of the country. Um the Beira Peninsula, it's always nice to go down there. Yeah, I've been there before now. It's actually a lovely place if anyone expects it, like so. But that's good to hear. So, but yeah, so you had a busy weekend, but of course, you got a chance probably to watch a bit of money in the bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and also NXT as well. Um, and a bit of NXT. There's been a lot going on. There's a lot of wrestling. There's a lot to keep up with, but we'll try our best. I mean, I think that's wrestling nowadays. Usually yeah. it's just like, oh, you'll be keeping up fine. But there's a lot going on. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to be honest, I forgot about NXT until I saw highlights on TikTok. I was like, oh, right, this looks like a big, big one now. Yeah, going yeah. On. yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about NXT, but we'll also get into Money in the Bank. My review on Money in the Bank, it was, I'm going to say it was decent. If yep. I'm gonna be all, all, in all honest, like, uh, I love Money in the Bank, probably one of my favorite pay per views. But when I watched it, I wasn't feeling excited. I wasn't feeling amazing. But can't say it was bad. Can't say it was good. But to quote uh, MJF himself, mid. Do I say? Yeah. What do you think, Phil? Um, I thought that the men's Money in the Bank was quite good. Uh, mm. a bit predictable in the end. Uh, a lot of people have a problem with this because they don't like the case being thrown around. Um, for yeah. for people who haven't seen it, Drew McIntyre picked up the case, and a lot of people wanted um Yeet Yeet, uh, Jey Uso to pick up the case. Um, yeah. as a person who's not a fan of the case, I was quite happy to see it gone <laughs> later in the night. Are you just? Are you not happy with uh, whoever's holding the money in the bank? Briefcase? No, I just think this case, this thing has gone on so long. It's I just find don't find it entertaining anymore. Right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, uh, I was so happy when Drew McIntyre came out and lost. <laughs> yeah, you you were happy. I was raging to be honest. I <laughs> to, to start off about money in the bank. I honestly thought that. Yeah, there was a big talk that Drew McIntyre was going to win this one. He was the popular one. Yeah. Uh, I was pulling for LA Knight. He was my top pick. But uh, I honestly thought what was going to happen was Drew McIntyre was actually going to reach the briefcase only for him to get hit by a ladder and look down and it was punk. Yeah. Uh, I honestly thought that was it. That yeah, I, I thought they were going to do that as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like the match was quite good. I mean, it wasn't... the best one but it was still quite good there's a lot of good spots in it yeah um, you wouldn't say this it, your top top five would it be no 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 like there was two there was something that bothered me about it there was two there's the same spot twice mm. did you know that about like they just like they did uh, Chad Gable was hanging and then LA Knight was hanging 
Yeah, 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 yeah. If there was kind of a particular spot that they're doing, they're not doing anything too creative. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Ting was very impressive in it, though. Uh, Andrade. Andrade, yeah. So, uh, I, I mean, when you mentioned Andrade, when I see him going up the ladder a few times, I was kind of, I wasn't um, pulling for Andrade, but it would be good to actually get him, like, with the briefcase and actually make him more more eyes on him. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. I, it is good that way, but like they don't really do that anymore. It's always safe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Especially, especially um, with the whole you don't know which ladder is real, kind of where spot, kind of where that they do. Like, uh, all in all, like uh, when Drew McIntyre won Money in the Bank, I kind of thought of the possibilities. We all know he said he was gonna. He was gonna cash in that night, but I thought he was just like just saying that to get Seth and Damian Priest like paranoid. But no, he did. Um, do you want to go right into the same Seth Rollins versus? Yeah, Damian you might. Priest? Yeah, just keep keep it with it. Yeah. Um, the yeah, match was yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. The match was good. I like this. Um, massive botch by Damian Priest. Yeah, internet's going on like that. I actually remember. I actually watched it. Uh, I was doing a bit of multitasking. Uh. I was um, exporting footage, making you proud, Phil, making you proud, boy, uh, while watching it. And I just looked over my corner and I just saw the referee one, two, three. And I was like, Seth, what? Seth, one? What? So everyone reacted in the audience. Is there a reason why? Because I heard people talking that the reason just pretty specked up. Yeah, basically. Triple H actually addressed this on the uh, conference afterwards. Really? Yeah, Damien, someone, I think it was actually our buddy Chris who asked him, who asked him about it. <laughs> Chris, the man himself. Yeah, so he asked him, like, what happened, and Triple H said he just didn't kick out. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, we can't, we can't hold all these players, like, well, those things. I'm wondering, is it, is it a part of, like, was McIntyre's music was supposed to hit? Uh, I th- Think so. I think I think just Damien just like just completely forgot to kick out. That's my yeah. interest. But if that's the case, then it's technical sides anyway. Like so, the I mean, best part of this match wasn't to see a punk interference. No, what do you think the best part? I think it was the Rollins setting up something with CM Punk. Oh yeah, that yeah, I saw that. I thought that uh, are they gonna lead right into Seth and Punk again when they're wrapping up with Drew McIntyre? Or, uh, or are they going to do CM or CM Punk and Rollins at SummerSlam? Uh, yeah, uh, SummerSlam is coming up. Another big pay-per-view. So there's so many talks of what match is going on. Yeah. Uh, if you ask me now, the one pay-per-view I would love to see... I know we're talking about Seth and CM Punk. I would love to see Drew taking on CM Punk or Seth taking on CM Punk at Bad Blood. Yeah, could happen. Because that's been... Yeah. That's been announced because people who are agreeing were saying that we'll love to see a Hell in a Cell match. Because yeah, no, it, I'm the same. I think we need one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because is the Hell in a Cell pay per view done, dusted? I would like to hope so. I, I, I was never a fan of. I know when Hell in a Cell is going to happen every year. I want to be, be uh, surprised. Yeah, like uh, that that forbidden button. Yeah. That, you should stay away from it until it's really necessary. Until <laughs> it's a yearly thing, it's like it's yeah. not exciting anymore. But love to see that bad blood. But uh, but yeah. So we all know what happened. Drew came out, tried to cash it. Yeah, didn't happen. Yeah, he went raging on the post show. And now he's I know suspended. So <laughs> suspended. Yeah, Adam Pearce is suspended him because Drew hit him. Drew elbowed him and everything. Ah, oh, he pulled a punk. Elbowed the wrong person. So that's why uh, I'm thinking because Drew suspended, and are we going to see Rollins and CM Punk? Mm, mm, first, because that was meant to happen, wasn't it? With Punk yeah. and Seth Rollins. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they're going to get back into that, and now for a good reason. But uh, we, um, especially when Punk said that uh, that he. He he's still going to continue the, as much as he can, but he actually found admit he doesn't have much engine to tank. So, all these possible matches we want to see Punk in WWE taking on Kevin Owens, um, taking on like um, taking on Sami Zayn. Uh, I'm just at this point where like 
wrap it up with Punk at this point. Yeah. Just because uh, I keep forgetting about Punk and Drew McIntyre is happening. Like so, but I wasn't happy with the Drew cashing in. I would love to see it on Andrade or LA Knight. Um, but that's I just think, me. I think they're thinking about WrestleMania. Uh, what do you think they can do for I think, Well, I think more of like, I think they don't want someone that I, and I mean this in the nicest way, they don't want someone like Jey Uso or LA Knight having a briefcase going into WrestleMania. I, 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 that's just me. I just think that's what they want. Right, right, I right. Think they want the title match to be probably Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton, maybe. Mm, mm. Uh, and obviously we'll talk about it in a minute, but the whole John Cena thing shows a lot of works, shows a lot of stuff yeah. in the thing as well. So we yeah. might go straight into that actually about the John Cena thing. Uh, I'll just go right into John Cena, yeah. Um, yeah. when I when I saw like his his actual retirement tour, uh, I couldn't believe it. I was I like, thinking I don't know if Cena's been being honest, but let's but but I'm gonna be honest now. Um. He's actually been aiming it on the acting scene. We yeah. all know. We all seen. He's been in a few, one or two movies, yeah. uh, and I'm really got it saying this because I fucking love John Cena as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he is not having a good run in WWE whenever he comes back. Yeah, he was like he even said himself. He's how many matches has he lost in the last two years? Uh, I think he's the he's like the job. I think at this point he's a jobber in. <laughs> Uh, in most watched matches, like, yeah. Um, so when I saw him getting rock bottom by The Rock, I was like, Yeah, yeah, I got a feeling that was gonna happen. Uh, and it is upsetting because there are kids watching it now and they're looking at John Cena and be like, Wait, my my uncle, my dad grew up watching this fella, he yeah. sucks though, he's just in a few <laughs> movies, so yeah, <laughs> I, that, that's bad to say, but like, um. I mean, what do you think? What if you could pick one poem that John Cena would face in his last match? What would it be, Phil? Who would it be? I think it should be Kurt Angle, but Kurt Angle is too burnt and badly damaged. Mm, uh, mm. So uh, his last match actually won't for people listening. It won't happen until December twenty twenty five. Yeah. Okay. So it won't be a mania. It'll it's be, his last uh, WrestleMania. That's all it is. All oh, right, okay. So if okay. I was to pick someone right now, I Randy Orton would be bad. Uh yeah, because I think we're at that stage where I remember we've seen so many of John Cena and Randy Orton that they were just milking it and no one wants to see it. But I think it'd be class to have these two guys actually be in the ring together because yeah. they found the career at the same time. Like yeah, uh, but the latest what I've heard the latest rumor is that Cena could actually win the Royal Rumble. Ooh. Um, because he's fighting at the Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber, and WrestleMania. So, John Cena going for a belt at WrestleMania has a huge story, and that's what that, that, that huge story is very intriguing. Well, you think because he had a bad run so far that this would be a good redemption arc, him winning yeah, the Royal Rumble? I, so, yeah. yeah. Going on to WrestleMania, then and actually beating Ric Flair. Yeah, he's going to beat Ric Flair's reign as well. Oh, <laughs> how is that? Oh, oh yeah. God! Yeah, that's true. My brain is all over the place. Yeah, yeah they. Uh, he wants to show that John Cena is one of the best at the moment, like of yeah. all time. Yeah, so I yeah. think that'll be a good way to. Yeah, so I think it'll be a good way to introduce like the new, the hip young people watching WWE now to show why John Cena is it's the cool. best. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's be honest; they're gonna have him face Baron Corbin. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, that 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 Kurt Angle's last match with Baron Corbin. But that's gonna forever be rent free in my mind or burnt in my skull now, Phil. Uh, but uh, but before we move on back to Money in the Bank on the spot, what's your favorite John Cena moment? Uh, John Cena moment is, I really love when he was drafted in two thousand five. Yeah. When he when the Jericho show like that when uh yeah when uh I remember this when uh, Batista was uh drafted to to SmackDown and Raw was like we don't have a world champion now and then John Cena just showed up yeah. on the Jericho highlight reel and was like yeah that's a good moment 
that and also as well him obviously going into a one night stand is also a quality. Uh, the one with the infamous him just having the yeah, towel over his head, people yeah. flipping him off. Yeah, that's, that's also that, that was a uh, that was fifteen year old me when I went back to my house and I got and my parents just got told off that I got in trouble. <laughs> me walking in, but uh, yeah, I think for me, uh, my favorite scene moment has to be his entire Homelander like run in two thousand seven about him holding the top of hold on, showing why he he belongs in WWE, people hating him at that point, booing him, but yeah. he actually still broke the rules by not turning heel. Like yeah. my my favorite run, but my favorite iconic moment has to be his Royal Rumble return. Oh from, yes. From the neck injury. Cause um I remember that Rumble match was kind of going downhill. Like yeah. really going downhill going 30 came out, John Cena came out. And he actually arrived earlier. And also, was... as well, you have to remember he was supposed to be out for a year. Yeah, and he came back for that. Lad. I remember my little my little self was actually freaking out seeing this and everything else. So I think that's why you should never hold on John Cena Like at this point. I think it's this is a good thing for him. He needs he needs to go out on his terms and his run. Um, these losing matches here and there was no good. Uh, yeah. I think he needs to now show why he is John Cena. And I think he will do that because he's that good. Yeah, because kind of uh, upsetting because especially since he's getting a lot of... No- he, he, it's obvious he's big in Hollywood at the moment. He's getting a lot of projects coming up. But now people are going to tune in to be seeing him wrestle. And be like, he's not great at all. Yeah. Is this him? So, but yeah, but no, that's all it talks about John Cena. We There's more coming up, but we'll go... Right to Money in the Bank, we had Barry, we had um, Braun Baker facing Sami Zayn. This, Sami Zayn won. What this, do you think about that? Quickly? This match pissed a lot of people off. Because uh, Sami won? Yeah, well, yeah, I think people thought that Braun was going to be going places, but I think his time will come. He just needs to wait a little bit longer. Um, yeah. We'll see. But I think the match was okay. I didn't think it was the best match I've seen. Mm. Um, Brad Breaker wasn't buried like people say he was. People seem to think he was, but I, 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 I don't think he was. No, I don't think so. I think the, I think they're gonna plant more seeds with Brown Baker. Yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah. Uh, it's like you said. It's like he, his time will indeed come. Like I can see him being world champion on the line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred uh, percent. Next, next year's Money in the Bank winner. Yeah. Oh, okay. That'd be a big one. Build him up. Do do the two thousand and seven John Cena version. Just like build him up throughout the year. Uh, and we had uh, the women's world, the women's money in the bank, and um, Tiffy won. Yeah, way better than what I thought this was going to be. Oh, who do you think was going to win this one? Uh, I w- had a feeling that Tiffy or else Chelsea Green. Uh, I think for me it had to be Lyra. I'm not just saying this because we love Lyra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just I would love to see her winning, uh, and more people be t- noticing there was her. Some but yeah. crazy spots in this one. There was a, I, you know, I'm just gonna say I think I prefer this one than the men's Royal Rumble. Yeah, I think a lot of people did as well. Yeah, a lot of people. Um, Jack was it? Uh, Eo Sky did some move on Zoe Starks that looked terrifying. Yeah, and I think even even it's saying something when Michael Cole is even like very concerned about like to see. Yeah, but well, yeah, definitely better. And Chelsea Green obviously took that wild spot. Yeah, uh, so uh, I saw Chelsea Green. I honestly, I actually thought that she was actually going to win the whole thing. Yeah, I thought she was going to win at that point. Yeah. Yeah, and I could I could actually see her holding on to the briefcase until near the Money in the Bank deadline. Oh yeah, and also uh, well, before we move on from the match, Tiffy is now going to make the briefcase pink and fill it up with diamonds. Of course, she fucking will. <laughs> <laughs> like she's what they should be building around. She's twenty five years old. She's the future. And also as well, they, they hinted at a Trish Stratus versus Tiffy match. Yeah, I saw that backstage with Trish Stratus and all that because we all know Trish still got us. Yeah, she still got to have the rubber Becky Lynch. So. I could see, I could see something like that down the line. That'll actually get more notice on Tiffy as well. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that could happen. That summer slam, you never know. A lot, a lot of things. We keep on saying like summer slam, summer slam, summer. It's like, yeah. Again, I don't know because Triple H likes the lower cards these days. So, 
does, one, yeah. yeah. Does. There's, there's only one other match on this show, which we'll talk about the main event. Yeah. Uh, I, which really, is... no, I really love this match. You you, you actually like the match. It, we're talking about the new bloodline taking yeah. on Cody Rhodes and um, is it RK, 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 yeah, RK, RKO, yeah, RK, RKO, RKO, yeah. So you said this is probably the best match for your opinion. Uh, yeah. yeah, and the right outcome. The ending was good. Uh, mm. I know people will say it was flat, and it was like I get it. I totally do. But Solo had to pin Cody Rose in this match. Yeah, I mean, when I saw it, I honestly thought I was leaning against the screen. Thinking that uh, uh the reason I'm looking at my is because I was watching on the screen, cause um, but I was leaning against it, feeling like that Randy's gonna cost the match or RKO um Cody Rhodes, but I like the outcome because it's making the bloodline look stronger. It's yeah. making so so Sankoa actually more way more stronger and more yeah. people talking about there it. There was also like, as well a comment by Michael Cole that I really loved, and he said, "What is that?" Jacob Fatu was so dangerous. That Triple H had to go to the authorities to let him into the country. I saw that, yeah. Oh, uh, Michael Michael Cole knows how to tell a story, like he knows how to build somebody up. So, yeah, because I, I want to say that a lot of people are still trying to get familiar with Jacob Fatu, but I think after this match, they know that he is no joke. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't mean, surprise me if he fights Kevin Owens at SummerSlam in a one on one match in a street fight, yeah, something like that, yeah. Something with that. Uh, I love that. I just love the one where Randy hits him with a DDT, and Randy was setting up for the RKO, only to see that Jacob actually got up like it was nothing. Yeah, yeah, that one was. Maga like, used oh, to do that as well. Maga. Years ago, yeah, I remember when Omega got knocked down, he used to get up. Yeah, yeah, I'm. Uh, I know. I don't want to be a downer, but I'm kind of really happy that WWE is recognizing Umaga again. Yeah, there's a new Funko Pop coming of him. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get that. Funko <laughs> I love the Funko Pops. I know. I know. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm I'm a Funko Pop collector, but I feel like that Phil is really getting up there. Well, yeah, I am now. Like, like, yeah, I've gotten I got a new one today. <laughs> yeah, I I just noticed that you're like looking around. Is are there Funko Pops like right over? Yeah. Uh, right. all around me, but like I see the problem with me. I can't put. I can't get into a position in my room where mm. the laptop. It's okay to the lighting is shocking. Like I need a light. Like once I get a light, I can have a back background with all of them. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna Are you gonna call the that? Problem is I bought. You know the one that you have, the light that you have. Do you put on top of the camera? I start. Uh, I do. Start, yeah. You know the little one that you have there that you can put on top. The LED is it just an LED? Is yeah, like LED? a small thing. It's like a little box thing you just put on top. I I got that, but I got massive headaches after it. Oh god, right. Oh, I was like, I, think, I can't do that anymore. I think you can get a better one in Camera World. Camera World. Yeah, I'm, gonna look, I'm gonna look into it because I need to get one, and I also need to yeah. get a microphone as well. Okay, we're talking tech stuff, unfortunately, guys. So <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I, I, I got I got a now. video, I got a camera job over this weekend, so I feel like I can match Phil at this point. So, but uh, I was money bank, yeah. but like I give, I'd give it an eight out of ten easily. Eight out of ten. I think for me, I'm gonna give it about. Gonna be honest, a seven out of ten. Yeah. It's just like um, I came in with high hopes, but it had great moments. So I can't say it was an amazing pay per view, but you know, I I liked it. It was so going. Like we don't and we'll, like, we don't have long more, so we want to, we, There's a few things we want to talk about. Um, yeah, very um, quick. We said at the top of the show, you got a chance to watch NXT this past weekend, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna run through it because I know we don't have a lot of time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll run through it just really quickly. Obafemi versus Wesley uh, for the American, North American Championship. Uh, every time I see Obafemi, really good. Really, mm. really good. Um, Obafemi won. Um, so now Wesley can never fight challenge for the belt as long as Obafemi is champion. Uh, I, I, I'm not a fan of the story. I think it's stupid. But these guys have been fighting for the last what six months? About I thought it was more than that. Yeah, it might be even more than yeah, it might even be more than that. So it, maybe it's a good thing to give him a break. Um, yeah, I feel like they want to pull a a Tomasco Champa and John a, and Johnny uh, Gargano 
as in build up the rivalry, but also take a break and get back into it again. Yeah. Um, so then we had Kelly Jordan defeated Saul Rucka. Um, I, did, did you see? Did you see any of this? Uh, I only saw bits of the high uh, feather four where uh, there was a part in this match, uh, where they started doing a load of like flips and jumps, and Rick, oh. Ricochet commented on it saying, "This reminds me of my match with Will Osprey." <laughs> <laughs> Where the, uh, you remember that match years ago where they just jumped around the ring for like ten minutes? I, I remember, I remember that lad. I remember yeah. that it was I feel like they were more off the mass than yeah. The it actual... wasn't the rest of the match. It was just them jumping around and jumping over each other's feet and up high and somersaults and yeah. I, I'm, it, I'm definitely yeah. I'm definitely did definitely like this match. match. Yeah, yeah, and of course the main event we had the fatal four way, yeah. Uh, this match was exceptionally good, and I, I, really? I, I was going into this going, oh, this will be Trick Williams just winning after just average match, but no, this is this is phenomenal match. Uh, Eaton Page is your new NXT champion. Mm. Um, uh, I think that's what but... I think that's what a lot of people love about Fatal Four Ways. They can be so fucking unpredictable. Yeah, and I think it was time to take the belt off of Trick as well. Um, oh, okay. As much as yeah. Rick has been over, I think his time. I think it's time to be a hail champion. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think uh, Eaton Page is very good at AEW. Didn't know how to use him. I saw. I mean, when I saw the Federal Forward, I just think it's AEW because we all seen the backstage shame with Cody Rhodes, Sean Spears, Trick Williams, and King. I was like, yeah, we all know what this is from. But yeah, but are you saying that you would say? That you prefer this than Money in the Bank, Phil? The main event didn't... Oh, well, I wouldn't say that, but like it's still very, very good. Uh, right. The finish... I love the finish where he falls on top of him. Um, it was a bit... Really, really well done. Um, And then, of course, the best part of it, and you're going to love... The, you love the best part, but did you see it? What happened after uh, that? Uh, I'm going to guess a man that... Uh... We say his name and he shall appear. <laughs> yeah. Uh he's he's coming back to Is the edge yeah, the, the edge back. Back. No, I am I'm, I'm gutted that the I didn't get a chance to see this, but I feel like every time I miss a show a lot has happened. Well the vignette the vignette came on at the end. With his right. face with his face. But did it, did his face just show up? Was it uh, he wasn't his face showed up and that was it. That's how it went off. Right, okay, okay, okay. Well, he's coming, which I, is good. I, I love Joe Henry. We all love Joe Henry on the show. He's been on our show as well. He's been on the show, yeah, with Jerry. And it was yeah. a, probably a great interview, I thought. Yeah. And I would I would personally love to meet the man down the line. Uh, Just to, just to have banter, sing with him, you know. <laughs> I always say this on the show, lads, whenever we talk about Joe Henry, I say his name. He's not appearing yet. We did have him, but it'll happen again soon. But uh, yeah, big plans happening for Joe Hendry. Yeah, to say, uh, he's going to be used in NXT a lot, I think. Yeah, and then I, I think mean, he will. He will eventually sign with WWE. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's uh, I think because he's just so big at the moment, and Triple H will see this, and Shawn Michaels as well. Like so. Yeah. A big pop he had when he came in. Uh, so yeah, before we wrap up, it won't. It's not WrestleSlam without talking about RCW guys. So yeah, we have a few good announcements happening for the next RCW show. Minus one tickets on sale still now on July twentieth in the Pav Heart of Cork City. We got uh, Andy Steele, the real deal, taking on Yup Longford himself, CBL. Uh, and uh, since so, so CBL is out for revenge, do you think, Phil? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Like uh, again. Nobody would have expected what happened with the last one. That was very unlucky. Um, yeah. So, yeah, he's out for revenge on this one. I'm looking forward to it because it was a great match. Uh, very, very sad way it ended with the injury. It, yeah, because unfortunately I couldn't make that show due to sickness. But when you sent me on the video, I just got heartbroken. I'm like, no, no. What well, revenge is coming. Yeah, and we met CBL. He's a cool guy, calm guy, but... Trust me, I think he has something on his mind right now with Andy Steele. But he is not the only Saviors of Destiny member going to be taking, uh, will be facing that night. We got the long-awaited return of the 
RCW World Champion, the savior of RCW himself, Owen Richards, coming back. And he has a pretty big problem of an opponent facing as he'll be taking on Big Demo. <laughs> that is going to be one match. Uh, it's going to be some. some I, I think if people need to get to the pub and see this because this is going to be quality. It's going to be entertainment. So Owen Richards says he wants to take on the very best this country has to offer. And he what what best than taking on the beast of Belfast, guys. And we also got a big announcement from RCW. Uh, I think it was just today. Yeah. Which is going to be none other than Super X is a big announcement coming up. And I think uh, we have an idea. It's going to yeah. involve a certain title called the Rebel X title it's going it's, to be similar uh, to the world x cup hopefully that's my so, that's my call uh, very similar very similar I'd so, love yeah to see, uh, all the different counties represented in ireland oh yeah that uh, i mean that can happen i yeah. mean rcw is getting a load of talks not just in ireland but probably around the world even to yeah. actually for people to come into this to our city to see this lad so yeah, I feel like RCW, Billy Bellum is doing a fantastic job. Every time when an RCW show is coming up, they somehow want to try and outdo each the last one. And that's that, exactly that far off. It's only 12 days away, lads. 12 days away. Tickets are still available. Try, buy them now, lads. You are going to regret it to the next one. This, I am excited. And, of course, Big Demo is there. It's minus one. So uh, make sure you don't have anything that will probably get knocked out. Anyway, and um, we're still waiting more updates on our WrestleSlam website from our own Jerry. Like apparently, like the, think... guy who, the guy who does the website is not well. Right, okay. So but we have we have updates as soon as we can. We have updates. More will, will be coming on WrestleSlam. And, of course, if you haven't seen it yet, our own Jerry got a chance to interview with the world-class maniac himself and Eric Young. Uh, he remembers us. He remembers us. Uh that's a good thing at least it's up on youtube right now great interview go ahead and watch it and i pretty much seen that uh i put it i i aced this with the hosting gig once again what can i say phil yep um, yeah outstanding outstanding job we, uh, we did an outstanding job uh, we phil come on now i'm right. going to run through the headlines there because just before we go uh just see if there's anything else that kind of needs to undertaker has a show summer sam weekend um he seems to do this a lot. Mm. Um, John Cena says the Miz is the most uh, underrated superstar of all time. Yeah. I kind of agree. I like Miz. Miz definitely won't get his just desserts when everything's done. Yeah, yeah uh, the Miz. Uh, I'm gonna say is kind of once they fall from grace, but WWE just use them so poorly. But yeah, uh, and I want to say one thing that I all I every week I was saying it's really bad, really bad, really bad. But the last dynamite was very good. Really? Yeah. To be fair, it was. Um, I it heard. Was. I know MJF is now back being the scumbag we all love once again. Yeah. Uh, I think they went there's... back. They went back to basics and it went back to fam- familiarity, and that was what was good about it. What people watch about. Um, but MJF AEW. now has a purple and black scarf. Oh, okay, a bit of a change to the scarf and Miss MJF. Yeah, and also as well, he's now saying that the match with Garcia is not happening, which is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, because I was reading. Well, people were raging when that match was announced. Are you are you saying that? Uh, are you saying that there's still hope for AEW now, Phil? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it looks yeah, like yeah. we're gonna get MJF and Will Ospreay though. Yeah, that would be a match that I would personally like to see. Uh, yeah. Will Ospreay see what he does, and I can't see him being on the mic with MJF. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah so that's it. So yeah, any news uh, before we wrap up, Phil? Um, uh, just going through the news. Uh, Drew McIntyre suspended, so he won't be on Raw. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure he. I'm pretty sure he will be off Raw. He's just rather, uh, as we all know. He needs to focus on his partner at the moment, yeah, so yeah, there's a good reason not to be there. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's about it, really. I yeah. think I think but, that's everything. Uh, we'll be back next week. Oh, Jerry should be back. Jerry should be back. He hope he will yeah. be back. But uh, but yeah, it's been a busy time in res- in wrestling as every week. I feel like everything's happening in wrestling, guys. So 
thank you all for watching very much. Uh, much appreciated. We hope you enjoyed the show. We hope you're actually tuning in and making sure to subscribe. All those fun things. Comments. We want comments. Yes. Yeah. Phil said himself. We want comments, lads. Come on. It doesn't Call matter us. what. It doesn't matter what it is. Even if you want to say you hate me, I don't care. Uh, no, no one hates you. <laughs> look, look at my face. Look at that clean shaven face. I don't know what area. Can you not <laughs> hate my face? So yeah, come on, guys. Be brutally honest. We want to hear it. We oh, one one last thing I have before we go, actually. Prince Puma has come to Prince Puma has come to AEW. I heard that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for that. See what's going on with that one. But yeah, so we're gonna wrap up now. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you. We'll see you soon, and we'll chat to you soon. All the best, guys. See you soon.